Welcome back. Let's go! Ah! Yo, everybody, what up, what up, what up? Welcome to Ed and Eddie Silver and Blue. Today's subject is name three players that you liked growing up that weren't stars. They had to be on other teams, non cowboys, but they weren't big stars because anybody could say, you know, Adrian Peterson, Earl Campbell. But let's just stick with non stars that you just thought were cool players. Maybe you liked the way they looked, maybe you liked the way they played, a little bit of swag, all that kind of stuff. So start us out, one for one. Start us out. Uh, Daryl Talley, linebacker for the Bills. Uh, everybody recognizes Bruce Smith and Cornelius Bennett, but Daryl Talley was awesome too. He really helped anchor that defense with those other studs. They were a great, great team. Oh yeah, and they Four ran Super into a Bowls couple in a of couple of buzz saws, as you know, as a Cowboy fan. But mm -hmm. they were a great team, and they had some cool players. And Daryl Talley was one of them. All right, I'll start mine out with a pretty known guy in the league nowadays. His name is Jarrell Casey, nose tackle, played for the Titans. That was his heyday. Reason why I choose him is he's one of those underrated glue guys that the Cowboys, I don't think if I've ever had us have one of those guys. Like pure, awesome nose tackle, can make a play, but you know, he's the guy that puts your defense in the top five. He may not get the stats for it, he may not get the accolades, but he's just that guy. In, in your recent lifetime, we have. Yeah. But yeah, we, we have before, Yeah, you yeah. know, but... Uh, kind of like Ken Norton. He was never like exactly. a mega star, but he was a glue guy that puts your defense yeah. where it needs to be. That would have been a great choice for a non-Cowboy fan to pick. Um, second would be Slash. Cordell Slash? Stewart. Cordell Stewart. He was a wide receiver slash running back slash quarterback slash kick returner. He was a stealer that could do it all. And he was kind of struck fear in the hearts of defenses when he came on the field because no one knew where he was going to line up and he could throw. He could actually throw. Um, had a great college career and a good pro career too. A lot of fun. Awesome player. Nice. Yeah. So I think my second one, he was a pretty well-known guy even though he never came officially had a Pro Bowl. It was wide receiver on the Bills, Stevie Johnson. He was mm. a seventh round pick and it was okay. almost like he came out of nowhere. His breakout game was against the Bengals when they had T.O. and Ocho Cinco. Ooh. Just imagine that, right? And they had their whole moniker, Batman and Robin. Right. And they were both putting up like 100-yard games. They were even picking up a few wins. Stevie Johnson, in his big breakout game where he led the Bills to victory, in his final game ceiling touchdown, he lifted up his jersey and on his white t-shirt it said, Why so serious? Right when the Joker came wow. out as a big hit. <laughs> Of course, That's he got awesome. fined a couple thousand yeah. dollars, but you That's can't cool. beat that. And no, not to mention, too, he actually made it on Come On Man because his attire for the post-game press conference, he wore like an undershirt wife beater. No big deal, you know. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Good one. Yeah. I like it. Um, my third is going to be a great running back in the late 80s, James Brooks. All right, so I know some of you older guys out there remember James Brooks. He played for the Chargers and the Bengals. Great running back. I mean, I almost didn't want to include him because he's too good. Um, but his career just didn't last long enough. Uh, but he averaged over five yards a carry for a couple seasons. We're talking 1,000 yards plus. This wasn't just a you know flash in the pan, third down guy or anything. He was an absolute stud. James Brooks, speed, power, the whole package. Nice. So I think about it for my third one, this has always been one of my favorite pet players, Lamar Woodley. Mm, he was on the yeah, Steelers, sure. and linebacker. yeah, he had a final spell kind of with the Cardinals, but yeah. he was just that excellent outside linebacker. And especially yeah. too, I think what really made me envy him is we had Anthony Spencer, who we drafted in the first, playing that same kind of position as him. And I would always watch the Steelers, and I'm like, this guy is running shop. You know, he's only made two Pro Bowls, but the guy is an absolute stud. Mm -hmm. Better than that, too, was any time I would ever have those online Madden franchises, <laughs> I would always make a trade for him. Like, hey, what does yeah. it take? I'll give you a first. I'll give you Anthony Spencer and a third. What? Wow. And I'd always find the Steelers, they would always be willing to trade me. I'll, I would up the ante. He was just that solid, kind of like Jarrell Casey, that glue guy, but he was an impact player. He was great. Awesome. I dig it. 
All right, guys, so let us know three players that you enjoyed watching growing up. Not cowboys, not big stars, just guys that you enjoyed. And don't forget to leave a like if you enjoy the show. Hey, hit the subscribe if you like even better. Hey, y'all, junior and senior heading out. Take care.